feel like it's actually kind of funny because the car that they gave me for a loaner is actually one of my old cars. So it feels a little nostalgic and like brings me back. And yeah, the coupe is what really brings back the memories, like just having a coupe and how tiny and how low to the ground it is. It's really funny. The gas mileage though, I have to say, is crazy. So I think this car gets, what did it say yesterday? You're in front of it, so you can't see it, but I think it gets like 35 miles to the gallon and I'm pretty sure my truck gets 20 on a good day. So, so last night I started a project. I probably should have showed you because it's coming out so well. Um, in the moment, I was just experimenting, so I wasn't really sure how it was going to come out or if it was even something I thought was going to be good. Basically, I saw this picture on, I think, Pottery Barn, and I was totally inspired by it. I love it. I love, like, the colors of it and how it's neutral, and then I also found this photo at Home Goods, and the texture of it is everything I want and more. So I decided to try and create something using both of those concepts put together. We'll see how that goes. It is major work in progress. So yeah, I am um, just making it to work um, about 12-ish. And then I have a facial appointment with my sister and we're gonna have a little girls day a bunch of shopping and hit up all the stores that are in that area. Go to get a facial, it's about an hour away. So every time I'm over there, I like to hit up like you know, their home goods, their Christmas tree shop, things like that. I will definitely show you all the goods. And it went from it's fall, kind of warm out, to it's cold. It's 50 degrees right now. <laughs> it was in the 40s when I woke up and left. It's chilly and the jackets are coming out. Hey guys, so just finished with class and I am absolutely starving and need a coffee. Um, the coffee I had this morning, um, I taught really, really little first, so there's no taking a sip of coffee in between anything. And by the time I was able to start drinking it, it was already cold. And I don't know if it's just me, but there's a difference between getting an iced coffee and drinking a hot coffee that got cold, and no. <laughs> my skin is a little red so if you've never heard of microneedling I would just say look it up it's just easier that way but I got a microneedling facial done and it's basically like purposely causing little wounds on your face so this is what I look like for the next day but totally worth it um if you are curious, I definitely say look it up. I'll show you guys a couple of the things I got at Christmas Tree Shop and Home Goods. Um, a lot of cute, fun things. So I think we'll start off at Home Goods. So one of the first things is this cute little wood storage basket. As you can see, it is very large. It was $14.99 and I'm actually going to use this for our like Wi-Fi box and things like that. Kind of store in it instead of like being displayed. The next thing I got is this humongous candle. This says it's 35 ounces and this is the tag in case you're looking for it. And this was only $19.99 and it's 
humongous. Some big candles that like I know I'm not going to burn that they're just for looks but this one I definitely will because I feel like afterwards this would be a really cute plant holder. This very large piece of art and I love it because the edges if you can see are like a torn piece of paper. This is super cute. I love the tones of the landscape. I love that it's a circle within a square. There's just something about it that I love. If you know Christmas tree shop, you know, pretty affordable. So first thing I got is these really cute glasses. They have a nice gold top to them. And these were only $2.99. I got four. And I think I decided that I really enjoy having nice unique glasses even if i'm just drinking water there's just something about it, it makes it more enjoyable tastes better so i think what i want to do is sell the set of glasses that i have they're actually too high for me to grab so that says a lot so we have like a big set that sits at the top of the cabinet and we never use those we always use kind of the more unique ones so i think i just want to sell that whole set because some people do like that and then kind of grab two to four of each one that we like. To give you an idea, these are another one that we have. These were from Home Goods a while back and they're Ralph Lauren. So yeah, there's just something I like about being able to pick and choose like different glasses that you want to use. And I feel like it's a little eclectic too. So I also got this, which was $2.99. And I thought this would be cute either as a base or when you're having a party and you want to like put water out on the table, you could fill this up and it's just cuter than like a normal picture, picture, picture. And two more things, three more things. I got a few of these outdoor candles, which all of their outdoor stuff was 75% off. So these were $2.99 and then 75% off and they're little citronella candles. I got some face wipes because I've been struggling with getting like little, I can't remember what my facialist just called it, but it's not like pimples. It's like little tiny bumps on your face. I think from wearing a mask for so many hours and sweating in it, teaching. So I got these so I can get out of class, take my mask off and wipe my face. I mean, I don't wear makeup anyway, but just to kind of wipe the sweat off and it's not sitting there. Lastly, I always get these in the fall time. These are the little pine cones that smell like cinnamon. And these were $3. So cute. We'll see um, how much of a scent it puts off, but so good. And these are my two new candles from from Bath and Body Works, and one is already empty. <laughs> so, and one has already been started. <laughs> so that was fast. So I wanted to show you guys the art piece I've been working on. So this art piece is actually the same color as our wall, which was the idea to where like it kind of blends in but has a nice texture to it. And this is actually a plastic knife that I used to spread the caulk out with. This is the little spatula slicing into the caulk. And this is the same spatula that I would push down and kind of just turn in a circle, which is one of my favorite parts of it. And I kind of just did different textures all over it, making sure that whatever I did in one place, I did somewhere else as well. So it all kind of goes together. But I'm obsessed. I'll insert here the photo of the one with the circles on it. That was the main inspiration, which I'm going to do now. 
with these three colors. I'm probably going to mix these two and this one separate, but we'll see. So wish me luck. Wish me luck. I'm going to let this first coat dry and then I'm going to start to add some texture throughout it with a little bit lighter and then a little bit darker of a shade. So I'll show you that when I get there, but I think it's looking so good. Hey guys, welcome back. So skin is looking pretty good, pretty red, but pretty good. I'm um, just getting back from Walmart and TJ Maxx, and I figured I would show you some of the things that I got. <laughs> One being an obnoxious amount of band-aids. Well, I actually got some of these at Walmart and some of these at the dollar store. Um, if you watched the last video, you know, one of the last videos, you know that Mike caught himself with an axe. So he has a wound that's healing now, but I wanted to get band-aids for him to sleep with instead of having to wrap it every night like surgical tape is like literally taking off his skin from wearing it every night so I got a couple different size bandages I wasn't sure like these are band-aid brand these are dollar store brand so you can see the difference but these I think were like three dollars this will work for something else but and then I also got these butterfly clips, butterfly closures, to try and squeeze the wound closed because it's opening up again. I also got a bunch of these black bins from the dollar store. Um, I have a couple of them. I already put them in the bathroom. These are awesome, and they were only a dollar. They have, like, the nice bottom on them. And they're black, which I love. I got from TJ Maxx these jars that if you watch me organize my pantry, you saw I always get the same ones. And every time I see them there, I buy them because they're $2.99 for a big one. So, hi, hello. And they seal really nice. They're good. I have them throughout the entire pantry. I got the cutest sign for our downstairs bathroom. I think he's adorable and I've always wanted one of the moose pictures but it kind of just felt like I didn't have a place for it until I saw this one and he's in a tub so he belongs in the bathroom right so cute and then some weird adulting things um we bought two maple two maple trees today um, i know nothing about that kind of stuff but when we moved in we had to cut down one of the largest trees in our front yard the only tree that was in our front yard but it was huge it's been there for hundreds and hundreds of years but it was dying so we had to so we had to cut it down um and it was right in the front of our front door which i didn't like so we took that one out and we just bought two I think we got a pretty good deal, but two trees. So I wanna show you the update on the piece of art. I do plan to, I'm just moving the light fixture. I do plan to add a bit more warmth into this one. I did 
grab a bit more of an orangey color. I think adding a bit more of just, I'm gonna mix it with this color, but I'm gonna add that color and this color. That looks very orange on camera, but it's more of like a brown orange. Okay, there's more of like kind of the color. Um, it's more of like a brownie orange. So I'm gonna mix that in with this color, which I think will look nice having like a cooler toned circle on the right and then warmer tone on the left. But yeah, I think it came out awesome. I added some of those colors to the texture in the art piece. So I can see my new art piece like from where I'm sitting and I am obsessed. Ooh, one more thing I'm obsessed with, this couch. So Mike and I have seen this couch at Home Goods at least 10 times. And each time we kind of look at it and then talk ourselves out of it. And we went to a Home Goods last weekend and there was a little bit of damage to the couch. Yep, that right there. So, so Mike got a hefty discount off of it. So I was still contemplating it, but the next day he went while I was at work and picked it up. And when I came home, it was already here, so I couldn't do anything about it. But now I am totally obsessed with it. Here, I'll give you a nice little view of it. So here she is. I'm calling her she because I love her. She's a thing and I love her. Um, so yeah, like I said, we got it at Home Goods. I have seen literally the same exact one online for much more than you would get it at Home Goods. So I totally recommend if you're interested in something that's this that's this color, then hit up your Home Goods. Say hi, Bailey. And this is a little corner with that bin I was talking to you about. So I got this bin to put all of those in that didn't really fit in there. And all those cords. And I'm going to put this in the corner and move this forward. So that when you look at it from afar, you don't notice any of those cords and wires. And I centered it with the other couch. So I think it looks really nice. And surrounding the fireplace. And I told you guys that I took the TV that was in here and put it outside. And I don't think I'm going to bring it back in here at all. <laughs> I got this really cute plant stand at Walmart. For only nine bucks. It was originally 25 bucks. So super cute for nine bucks. I had to have it. She's cute. And for nine bucks, you can't go wrong. We like things like that. Get up your Walmart, because this was only nine bucks. Super cute. Also, like I said, never really bought trees before. So they told us we had to buy vinyl tree guards to protect protect our tree from like a billion other things. Hopefully I'm home when we get these trees so I can show you because I'm pretty excited. They're not super large. I want to say they're like maybe 10 feet and that alone was expensive. So the people who buy like real full-size trees like no. <laughs> Finally coming into use. Make that level. Want to go all the way to the top of the mark? Right here. 
I mean, it's a piece of flimsy thing. <laughs> I didn't move my fingers. Cross your fingers. Dun, dun, dun. Hey guys, so it is a little bit later. Um, I'm currently about to dye my hair for the first time, I think since like high school, I am going to be dyeing my hair a color. Um, that's all I'm gonna say, because if I chicken out of it or something like that, um, there's no proof out there. That I said I was gonna do it so I'm going to be adding some lightener to certain parts of my hair and then within the next couple days hopefully I will be doing something a little bit different <laughs> I am using the blonde brilliance balayage lightening powder it's basically just bleach <laughs> in a container um, and 30 volume Hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, give it a big thumbs up. I'd really appreciate that. And I will see you guys all in the next video. Bye guys.